Amanda Burks is the movement manager for the organization Urban Seeds, and she's with us this morning to talk about the Story Challenge. Hi, Amanda. Good morning. How are you? I am so good. And of course, I've been talking offline with Robin Mallory about the Story Challenge, and I'm really excited to share this with the audience. So how did, how did this come about? Well, um, we really wanted to find a way to engage with the community in a meaningful way. And we felt that um, engaging high school students was a way to get them active within the aspect of food security and um, promoting that to their peers. So we thought that was a great way to connect with our local high school um, community. So what is the actual challenge? What will they be doing and working with this, these topics? Right, so um, what we're doing is we're encouraging high school students to use um, a variety of media. They can choose to write a speech, an essay, write a song, a poem, however they um, are comfortable. And what we want them to do is to use that medium to um, promote helpful food choices and look at food security and explore that within the intersections of things such as um, cultural, class, income, economics, and how that relates to um, things like food security. For the, the families who would like to sign up, for the teenagers who'd like to sign up and submit some work, how does that process go? Well, um, all they would have to do is um, create the, you know, their app, their uh, their medium choice, and create the their outreach. Um, what they're choosing to do, as far as whether it's a speech or an essay or the song. And then all they have to do is um, go to, or excuse me, email that to scholarship at urbanseeds.org. Um, there is more information on our website that gives you some prompts and some ideas um, at urbanseeds.org. And so basically all they have to do is email that with um, a little bit of information about themselves. And um, the deadline for that is September 20th. Um, so just go to our website and you'll be able to find the exact information as, as far as um, the email and things like that. Well, all of those details are there and important for the students, but I'd be so interested in seeing what you receive. Right, and last year we, we did get a, a fair number of applicants, but this year we're really excited, hoping that we get um, a wide array of media selections from the students who choose to apply. And the students who um, apply, um, so the finalists will be eligible to receive a $1,500 scholarship and will be invited to be on our board of directors for the academic year to see how that process works. And isn't it neat to have that, that voice of young people on your board to kind of help you really form your mission for the year? Right, and the student, the student board member we had last year had an excellent perspective and we really enjoyed working with them and seeing you know what their perspective was from from the avenue of a high school student well i so appreciate the work of urban seeds and i thank you for being here on this holiday thank you for letting us talk about it we look forward to our applicants all right get signed up young people